amazing God. Trusting God when life twists and turns. This week, Noah and the Flood. Hello, and welcome to Black Hawk Kids. I'm Caitlin, and I'm thankful you're here. Today, we are learning about trusting God. The Bible is filled with stories of people who trusted in God, even when they didn't know what was coming next. Trusting God means choosing to believe that God knows what's best and that He will take care of us because He loves us. God will do what He's promised to do, even when life twists and turns along the way. Our big idea today is that we can trust God. Get ready, because it's going to be amazing. Stand up. It's time for our fire movers. We are going to use music to learn a Bible verse this month. These words are from the book of Proverbs, chapter 3. Here is how the verse goes. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. First, Lord is another name for God. Trusting in the Lord or God means that you believe. You know that he will do what he says he will do. To trust God means that you rely on him and that you are confident in him. Whenever we say trust, we're going to make a motion like this. Trust. It is like you are pulling on a rope to see if it's strong. Trust. That's how the Bible verse song starts, with that motion. Trust. Then we'll do the motion for Lord. Make an L with your fingers and then do this. Lord. Lord. Let's put that together. Trust in the Lord. <laughs> nice. Then we'll say, with all your heart. With all your heart. Okay, let's try Proverbs 3 together. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. You've got it. These are the words we're going to practice this month. If you learn more of Proverbs 3 from the song, that's even better. Here we go. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do. He will show you which path to take. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do. And He will show you which path to take. Whoa. Four, three, two, one. 
It's time for a true story from the Bible. God made everything. He made the world and everything in it. The oceans, the trees with fruit, the stars in the sky, and so many different animals. God made everything, and it was good. Here's the bad news. People messed up God's good and perfect world. From the first people all the way to you and me. People sin and don't do things God's way. Sometimes we do things our own way instead. Now what does this bad news have to do with today's Bible story? God saw as there were more people in the world, there was more bad stuff. People were hurting each other and God said it had to stop. God chose a special man named Noah and gave him a big job to do. Noah trusted God with his whole heart. So when God told Noah to do something unexpected, Noah did it. This story can be found in Genesis chapter six through nine. Let's watch Noah's story full of twists and turns right now. Stories of the Bible. Noah and the Flood. This is Noah. Hey! Noah was a good man who tried to do the right thing. Yeah! But in the time when Noah lived, he was the only man on earth who was doing the right thing. All the other people on earth were doing evil things and hurting each other. This made God very sad. So God said that he was going to send a flood to the earth that would destroy every living thing on earth because he was sorry he ever made them. But God decided to save Noah and his family. God told Noah to build a boat and fill it with two of every kind of animal and bird. Colors, bird, moth, okay, all here. Noah did just that. And then Noah and his whole family boarded the boat and waited for the flood to come. The rain fell hard for 40 days and 40 nights. Whoa! Water covered the whole earth and the boat floated safely on the surface. Water covered even the highest mountains on earth, but Noah and his family were saved. God remembered Noah and all the animals on the boat. God sent a wind to blow across the earth and the flood began to go away. After five months, the boat came to rest on a mountaintop. A few months later, the other mountains could be seen. Forty days later, Noah opened a window and released a raven. The bird flew back and forth until the flood had dried up. He also sent a dove out to see if it could find dry ground. But the dove couldn't find a place to land because there was still water on the ground. So the dove returned to the boat. Oh, hello again. After another seven days, Noah sent the dove out again. This time, it came back with an olive leaf. Oh, good girl. So Noah knew that the flood waters were almost gone. A week later, he sent the dove out again, and it didn't come back. So many months after the flood began, Noah opened the covering of the boat and saw that the ground was drying. He waited two more months and at last the earth was dry. Then God said to Noah, leave the boat, all of you. Release the animals so they can be fruitful and multiply throughout the earth. Okay. So Noah, his family and all the animals finally left the boat. Noah built an altar to the Lord to make a sacrifice to God. God was pleased with Noah's offering and said to himself that he would never again destroy every living thing on earth. God blessed Noah and his sons and promised them that he would never send another flood. He gave them the rainbow in the sky as a sign of this promise to Noah, his family, and all of mankind. Water covered the whole earth, but Noah, 
his family, and two of each animal on the earth were safe. Can you imagine what that would have been like? First, two of every creature just shows up to get on the boat that you built? Then, you live with all these animals during a massive flood for months. I wonder if it was noisy, or stinky, or just amazing. And then all the animals got off the boat and went on their way saying, thanks for the ride. Why did God flood the whole earth? All of people's wrong choices made God sad. He chose Noah's family to start over, to try again with people that knew and loved God with their whole heart. What Noah did showed trust in God. After the earth dried up, God put something in the sky, something that would remind Noah and all of us that God will never flood the whole earth again. Do you remember what God put in the sky? Yes, a rainbow. A rainbow is a sign that we can trust God. Noah didn't know how long the flood would last or what life would be like afterwards. Noah trusted God, even when he didn't know the whole plan. You and I can trust God like that too. Let's take time right now to pray together. Close your eyes, be still, and let's talk to God. Dear God, thank you for being our amazing God. We know we can trust you even when life goes through its twists and turns. We don't know what will happen next, but you do. Thank you for loving us so much. And everybody said, Amen. Thanks for hanging out with me as we learned that Noah trusted God, even when he didn't know the whole plan. You and I can trust God like that too. See you soon. Stand up. It's time to move and sing to God. Straight. I know, I know. I'm gonna shout and praise. 